always remember when you feel there is nothing, when you feel you are down, when you feel that something is so big you cannot believe the suffering. Then remember this. There is this, the truth of this suffering. There is the inferior, the origin of the suffering. There is the superior, the truth of a path. There is an escape from this whole field of perception, which is Nibbana, that leads to the total cessation of suffering. Remember, when he knows and sees thus, his mind is liberated from the taints of central desire, from the taint of being, where you were trapped in habitual reactions, stress, tension, tightness, pain, and from the taint of ignorance. When it is liberated, there comes the knowledge it is liberated. Mind is free. One understands. The birth of reaction is destroyed. The way has been lived. What had to be done in practice has been done. And there is no more coming to any state of future existence, but also in each experience of this Nibbana, there is less and less and less reaction. When this happens to a person, that the remainderless fading away and cessation of suffering has a court and has happened clearly, that the holy life has been lived completely and what had to be done has been done, then there is no more coming to any state of being, no more. And this one is bathed with inner bathing. Outwardly to speak of salvation, to speak of being saved, rather than depending on an outer force, we look internally to understand how does life work? Can I change my perspective? You can. Can I feel free from this pain of suffering? You can. How, you say? By letting go, relaxing, and smiling at Anicca knowing all things will change. No state is permanent. All things will change in form. With your intention, you smile. And as you smile, you uplift your mind. And as you feel joy arise in you and the lightness you share this with those around you. This is your dana for the day, and this is your merit. And thus you live in this life. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.